We're going to be talking about uh, the effects on the blood, and as everybody knows in this room, I'm sure, the blood transports nutrients, hormones, oxygen, and antibodies to their sites of action, as well as waste products to the kidneys for excretion. So before I go into the um, theory, like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, I would like to give you some evidence from the studies that we've done with a microscope before and after a 30-minute treatment and the effects of uh, the ionic uh, device on the blood. And uh, this is subject one before. As you can see, the blood is sort of st stuck together. The blood cells are sort of stuck together like coins. Um, and uh, after 30 minutes, the blood looks like that. What you see here is that the red cells are separated. Subject two, similar image before, and much better after. Now, why is that happening? Why should that happen? What does this ionic uh, device, or ion, what does ions do to the blood? By the ionic effect, the blood is electrified. So apparently the red cells are electrified and they start repelling each other. By creating an image like this, however, when the blood cells are separate, they move much better. Therefore, the transport of oxygen and nutrients and antibodies and hormones is facilitated. So once again, to summarize, the blood transports hormones, oxygen to tissues, nutrients such as glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids, antibodies for immunological functions, and waste such as carbon dioxide, urea, and lactic acid via the kidneys. Now, on the uh, is this the uh, on the uh, left side, you see the uh, unhealthy blood, which is all stuck together, and on this side, you see the blood that's separated. This is the image of healthy blood when all the cells are, have a similar color and they have a similar shape, and they sort of float in their own space. So in our pilot study, and we're continuing with the main study, uh, we have eight subjects, four women and four men. The selection was random. None of the subjects had health issues. None of them were doing any regular exercise. And uh, their effect in their lives was sort of of a moderate stress level. Average weight and the BMI was between 19 and 25. And uh, this is the results of one subject, and you're gonna see it uh, across different treatments, because the question is, okay, it does, it has an effect in the beginning, um, but is this effect sustained? Because if we find out that this effect is sustained, to all subjects, or to most of the subjects, if we have a significant statistical effect, then we have evidence that we have a method that you can enhance health. Why? Because when, you, when the blood cells are separate, once again, the transport of hormones and nutrients and oxygen and antibodies is gonna be better facilitated. So this is before treatment, and this is after one treatment. And you can see an improvement after the first treatment. And then this is before the second treatment on four days later. And as you can see in this subject, the effects 
have been sustained. In other words, the blood is, is much better. You see, the blood is, this is the before, right? And this is the after, and this is after four days. So the blood has maintained, it's still, the blood cells are still separate. This is after the second treatment, four, year, four days later. So there is an even a more enhanced effect on the blood that is even better separated. Before the third treatment, six days later, you have, uh, again, some cells are separated and some cells are still kind of stuck together. And that's because, uh, it could be because it's six days later, so the longer you're living it, maybe the effect starts disappearing. We're still looking at that, as I said. And uh, this is after the third treatment, which is again six days later. As you can see, there's a separation between the blood cells again. And this is before the fourth treatment, which is two days later. And after the fourth treatment, two days later, and this is pretty much the image of healthy blood. Now, don't be sidetracked about how many blood cells you see there, because it's uh, taken, you know, sometimes when you take a blood uh, uh, drop from the, under the microscope, sometimes it's more cells, sometimes it's less cells, okay? But what you need to look at is how separated the blood cells appear to be. So this is after the fourth treatment. Two days later, you see there is a sustained separation of the blood cells. So all subjects that we have looked at, and that's almost 100% of the subjects, there is what, what we've seen is a rapid quantum shift to an improved health status. The blood cells shift from being stuck together pre-treatment to freely floating in their own space after treatment. Now, you're welcome, we're gonna have the microscope in the exhibition, and you're welcome to come and test your own blood, because I know in your minds you're thinking, oh my God, what, you know, she is pulling our leg. It can't possibly be like that. I'm so tired of looking all this, uh, speakers talking so greatly about, uh, you know, effects, and is that true? You're going to see it on your own blood.